Is the fence doing? What's up guys, it is better. Welcome back to another video. Today, it's Sheffield Wednesday versus Stoke City in the penultimate home game for the Owls in the Championship this season. Today we're at home at Hillsborough and uh, it's going to be a, well, it's probably one of the biggest games, if not the biggest game of our season at the moment. You know, we're playing Stoke City, a team, a uh, few places ahead of us, three points ahead of us. If we get a win over them today, we'll go level on points with them and probably, most likely, take ourselves out of the relegation zone with a win today. But you know, whenever Wednesday seem to get an opportunity to get themselves out of the relegation zone, we usually uh, don't take that chance. But hopefully today it can be different. It's going to be a huge home crowd, over 31,000 uh, Wednesday fans uh, in Hillsborough today. So hopefully, you know, we're going to make a bit of an atmosphere, get behind the boys like we did in the playoffs last season. And uh, hopefully the crowd can spur on a massive game uh, so we can win today. Uh, I mean, a draw would be okay, um, but realistically, I think we need to win today uh, to uh, kind of secure our safety in the championship. A loss would probably be detrimental, uh, but not the end of the world, but still very bad. But I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Wednesday win. I think I think we can do it today. I honestly believe that Wednesday will win today. Obviously, Stoke uh, not been too bad recently, but they're obviously still uh, around about in the uh, relegation scrap kind of bit. So yeah, if a win for us today definitely drags them back into it. So yeah, we'll we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, let's move on to my team prediction through the final round. Right then guys, on the left here is my team predicted through the fan hub app. In goal we've got James Beadle, we've got a back four of uh, Bainwo, Hequa, Bambo and uh, Paul Valentin. And then I've gone for a midfield of Volks and Bannon. Thought Volks was very good when he came on against Norwich. And then uh, a front four kind of thing, uh, Patterson, Smith, Kusama and Masaba. So yeah, that's my team, bearing in mind that I still think uh, a few players could be out injured or whatever, like Johnson, Ugbo. So we'll have to see what happens, what Danny makes, what Danny produces. But whatever it is, get behind the boys. I'm sure it'll be a great lineup. If you guys want to predict lineups yourself through the fan hub, make sure to hit the link down in the description, download fan hub, and use my golden ticket code on the screen here to uh, skip the queue instantly when you download the app and just get yourself straight on. You can predict lineups, predict games, check into games, and earn the fan fee points from doing that to use on the fan hub store. And if you guys want to join my hub on fan hub, make sure to hit the link below the first link in the description. But yeah, get yourselves on that. Let's move on to Danny's team. Right then guys, Danny's team is out and uh, whoa, pretty pretty pleased with it. A lot of players back. Beadle in net, uh, Valentin, Ihequa, Bainwo, Johnson is our back four. So obviously Johnson's back from a, a little injury that he had. Uh, and then we've got Palmer, Volks, Bannon, little midfield three, quite like it. And then Windass, Smith and Ugbo up front. Uh, so yeah, Ugbo back as well. I think he was probably ill midweek because he was barely gone for, you know, he only he was only out for the, the Norwich game. He played in the QPR game. Yeah, on the bench, we've got Dawson, Iorfa, Bambo Diaby, Pedersen, Hendrick, Patterson, Masaba, Gasama, and Kadam Archery. So I'm actually quite happy with that. Masaba and Gasama both on the bench available. Uh, Patterson as well, the absolute, you know, running machine. So hopefully he'll be a great impact sub if we need him. Uh, and Kadamarch is there as well, I offer. You know, we've got strength on this bench uh, pretty much across the whole pitch. So I'm actually very pleased with this. And uh, yeah, hopefully Wednesday can uh, go in today, taking the crowd, you know, taking the atmosphere and uh, know, know the, you know, the, the importance of this game and just, you know, put in a good performance and get a massive three points. But yeah, let's head to Hillsborough now and hopefully Wednesday can win. Call on the house. Come on! The atmosphere is incredible. Stoke, we've got 5,000. We've got 31,000. Come on! Thanks, James Bingle. 
But if I'm running a foul, keeper or defender, I don't know. Shame. In there. Oh! Ref. Come on, when that's in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Straight back to him. Back in, Donson. In there, Baron. Back across. Head! Oh! Johnson's down here. Looks to be in quite a bit of discomfort as well. With his shoulder or arm, I think. Not sure. Not great here. Ah. Good news. Jono is good to go. Come on, Wednesday. Shit. Out, oh, man. What the fuck is going on? Come on. Good corner. Oh. Half time. To be honest, I'm very, I'm quite happy with that first half. We're not winning, but we definitely deserve to be. Stoke just, I don't know. They just haven't really been on it. I don't think. Been time wasting, and they're not really doing too. I mean, they've had one shot in the whole half. Yeah, I think we should be winning, but oh well. Always second half. Come on, Wednesday. Boys coming back out. Second half. Come on, Wednesday. Come on, Wednesday. So, just flat out cheating here, really. So, we had it on there and he went down on his head. He's been down the past point, three minutes. Jesus, he's crawling, basically, off the pitch. Come on, man. We're not even in the 50th minute yet. End of Stevens. Obviously, X Wednesday. I mean, X United, even. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what had the ball in that corner and he's just giving the ball back to Stoke. That is just cheating. It's just cheating. Away, please. Nice. Oh, save. Jesus, man. Coming off here for Callum Patterson. Come on, Patterson. Need this energy back in the game. Steve. Yes! yes! What a goal from Parler! Get in! Get in! What a goal! What a goal! Oh my god! D1 
Everyone's loving it. Have that, Snow. Have that. Have that. Come on. We deserve to be in front. We have fallen a little bit behind in this second half, but we've got back ahead. We scored that goal. What a goal that was. Get in. <laughs> Come on! Shit! 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 Oh, for fuck's sake! What was the fence doing? Are you fucking mad? Just like that, we're level again. The substitute, Kundal scores. Come on, Wednesday, man. You've got to defend better than that. You've got to defend better than that. Giving it a big one. Jesus, we just almost conceded again. Like, Johnson has been tragic defensively. He's not ours. A lot of these players just aren't getting back to defend. We still need to defend. Michael Smith coming off for Jedi Gasama. We really need a goal now. Seven minutes to go. Come on, Wednesday. Oh, Pato. Back stick. Oh, for fuck's sake, Johnson. This guy's been so shit. Shit, shit, shit. What a block by their own player. What a block by their own player. Oh my god. Six minutes. One. Oh! Come on. Oh! Shoot, folks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Liam Palmer here off for Dominic Iorfa. Good goal he scored. Paul Valentin, it seems, also off for Kadamarchi. And Ugbo, probably off on the side here. Come on, Will. This is a good delivery, mate. Come on, please. Please, Will. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh. Should have won today. Such a sloppy goal to concede, and we, we had so many chances to get another. It's just disappointing, man. That was a game we really, really, really needed to win. Right then, back from Hillsborough. And yeah, just a bit disappointed, really. Uh, really thought we could have won that game. 1-1, one, one, a point. Especially, you know, Birmingham won 3-0. Huddersfield drew, but really almost did win as well. You know, people around us getting results. Blackburn won today. We really need to stop, you know, getting into gear because a draw against Stoke, it's just not good enough. You know, we could have gone level on points to them today. Could have gone out of the relegation zone if we won today, you know? Do you know how many times we've had a chance to get out of the relegation zone with a win? And we just draw or lose or something like that. It's so frustrating, man. First half, we were good. I thought we played well first half, much better than Stoke. Stoke, I thought first half Stoke weren't going to even turn up. They were, you know, time wasting, you know, diving, lying on the floor. And yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't know what they were doing, to be honest. I thought they were terrible first half. They got better second half and we got worse. And that's probably how it ended up as a draw. I mean, we just started playing more Route 1 second half. I don't know why. Uh, to get the goal, probably, but then. We just kept playing Route 1 and we're just not very good at it, that's the thing. Uh, so yeah, Stoke got more into the game, they had more chances. Um, and then they eventually scored from some how, some just absolutely diabolical defending. Even though it went on, the ball just kind of went over. And we were like, oh, he's there, just unmarked, you know, for on goal. 
and then yeah, just slots it away at us. Kind of knew we wouldn't get back into the game after that. Just didn't. We didn't really have a major chance after that. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is at the end of the day. Still, we've got three games to go. One more home game, two more away games. A very, very big away game against Blackburn Rovers uh, on Sunday, next Sunday. But yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes, guys. To be honest, I still think we can stay up, but it's going to be much more of a challenge now. Uh, it genuinely might be a thing if we do stay up that we get out of the relegation zone on the final day or the week before. Something crazy like that because we're cutting it very fine. We've got three games to go and uh, we've been in the relegation zone all season. And we're just we're in touching distance of escaping it and we keep, you know, throwing away the chances. But yeah, I'll stop waffling now and uh, yeah, I'll just wrap it up because I'm actually devastated, man. I really, really, really thought we were going to win that. Uh, but yeah, credits to Stoke and the Stoke fans actually as well. The Stoke fans were crazy. It was, uh, they were really loud and they were going for it. Some great limbs as well. So you just got to respect it. But yeah, that's been it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload. But that's been it for me. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.